everyone it's your girl me viva and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to life is strange wavelengths which is the dlc of life is strange true colors this is part four could potentially be the last part i don't know but i think it's going to be so anyways if you haven't seen part one two and three make sure you go back and watch them before you watch this one because i'm pretty sure we might be wrapping it up right here but we'll see anyways before we get started you already know the routine go ahead and like up this video right now if you haven't already and subscribe to my channel if you're new around here like why you're not subscribed it's free go ahead and do that for me and also hit that bell button so you can become notified every time i upload a new youtube video so let's go ahead and get on into we'll continue with <laughs> life is strange wavelengths It's winter time. Okay, we've had no calls in the past hour, which means you're all either partying or sleeping. Both of which I respect. I gotta say though, if you haven't tried spending New Year's Eve locked in a small room talking to yourself, I highly recommend it. Honestly, I might do this every year. Somebody calling. Hey there, you're live on KRCT and I'm not alone in the universe. Who's this? Hey, uh, it's Gabe. It's everyone's favorite bartender. Mm -hmm. May any resolutions. So what are your resolutions and how many of you already broken? Yeah. Um... I was actually hoping to get your take on one of them. Great. Let me throw in a song and then call you. No, no, I meant... I called the show so I could talk to the psychic. Oh. All right. What's on your mind? There's... someone in my family who might be totally alone right now. I've been thinking of reaching out to her. The thing is, it's been seven years, and all that time I never got in touch. Why didn't you? <laughs> because I didn't have anything to offer her. That's been my excuse for ages. <sighs> no, look, the truth is I'm terrified of talking to her. I don't know what she's been through. I don't even know if she's okay. I'm freaking out that she hates me, and honestly, I bet I could handle that if I knew it was coming. So, I'm calling you to ask, what's gonna happen if I contact her? What's she gonna say? You know I'm not actually psychic, right? Shh, 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 shh. don't ruin it. Okay, give me a second. Okay, Gabe. Okay, okay. Guess what? It's looking bright. Seriously? What would be super good for Gabe? An honest conversation, a sense of purpose. Um... I'm gonna get him a sense of purpose. The day you call her, you're a ball of nerves. You get the number wrong four times. And when she finally picks up and says, hello. You freeze up. You clam up, total silence. Except for your obvious breathing what she blocks your number you have to call back on a landline but hearing her voice changed everything suddenly the most important thing in the world is making sure she's okay now you're on a mission 
and your own fears don't matter anymore. You're too busy sending her jokes and making time to hear about the worst part of her day. You're still afraid you'll screw things up. And you do. A lot. But underneath, there's a sense of security. Because now you're driven by a purpose that will always steer you back to her, no matter what happens. Thanks. Steph is deep. Thank you for calling. How's the station? You lonely over there? Honestly, no. Things are pretty great. Okay. Then I'll see you. Read ads, play songs, take calls. I'm a fully automated DJ. Yes, we are. What a year, huh? The music is good, but it's gonna give me a copyright claim. I already do. I don't even mix with this. I just do the automatic DJ these days. Man, last show of 2018. I know I say this every New Year's, but this was a fucking crazy year. My inner Tyler Durden hates this part of the job, okay. but my inner Billy Mays loves it. 2019, New Year's Eve party, free champagne, raffle with prizes, provided by Shar, Elena, etc. Tap out night, last Thursday of every month, new brews installed in the Thank you. KRCT is brought to you by the Black Lantern, where at this very moment, there's a New Year's rager brewing. You still have time to. Grab a complimentary glass of bubbly in time for the countdown. Also, tap out night is the last Thursday of every month. The Lantern offers... Drink specials so you can try all the new arrivals without breaking the bank. Happy New Year from the Black Lantern, the beer-scented heart of Haven Springs. All right, Gabe, what did you leave out there for me? Let's see what we got. Ooh, they text a lot, my God. <laughs> okay. Do do you have my copy of the Sword of Dust and Daylight? Oh, yeah. I totally forgot I borrowed that. Oh, thank God. So that's not technically mine. It's technically Ethan's, and he gets back from his desk tomorrow, and like he'll be pissed if we can't play it together. I'll swing by with it after work. You're a total champ. Best punk band go. X-Ray. You're so wrong. It's obviously the Misfits. Normie says what? Best cartoon character go. Hot dog man. Correct. Best breakfast food go. Biscuits and gravy smothered with hot sauce. Ugh, stuff. How are you going to do pancakes like that? Look, I love a good pancake. I would go <laughs> to town on a fat stack of those suckers. But let's not kid ourselves. Pancakes are a dessert food. What? I don't even know who I'm talking to right now. They're sweet. They're sticky. They have no nutritional value. Oh, I'm sorry. And biscuits and gravy are superfood. Whatever you know the rules. You can only argue for 30 seconds per topic. Best place in Haven to have a picnic go the park. The pier. Come on, man. Oh, okay, yeah, I changed my answer. LOL, okay, time out. Gotta get ready for work. Yo, you check under the front door of the shop lately for like, I don't know, surprises left there for you by your loving and supporting buds? Uh, you're the best. Oh my God, 
y'all are the best you didn't need to get anything from me well i wouldn't use the word get more like did we did something for you and actually come to think of it it's probably used to we did something to you enjoy oh god okay uh so many messages ah. New issue is done. Sick. Where do I get a copy for the shop? Uh, I could probably bring you some tomorrow. Heck yeah, see then. Mikey. Da -da -dum. Ba -ba -bum, ba -ba -bum, ba -ba -bum. House life in the sticks, by the way. Still thinking about splitting. Uh, I don't know. No time soon. Haven's all right. It's not like where I see myself retiring, but I like it here for now, I think. Like, I don't know. You know how horror games have safe rooms where the monsters can get you. You have a chance to heal up and reload before you go. Back out to blast the skulls off some more zombies. LOL. I'll take your word for it. Not my genre. Well, Haven Springs is my safe room, I think. Reload, heal up, and then back into the big dangerous world. Good luck healing up. I wouldn't want to be the first zombie to cross your path once you do. Da -da -da, Izzy. I guess they are back talking again. Pff, hello. Okay, so bye. Da -da -da -da. She blocked you. And then she come back. Okay, that was Amari, so she came back like nine months later. <laughs> Hi, so I unblocked you. Yeah, you sure did. Haha, <laughs> uh, I just found this and thought you might want to copy. Why would I want that after you blocked me for many months? Oh, wow, that's a really good pick of us. I know, right? I look hot. You really do, man. What a good day, huh? Yeah, anyway, hit me up if you ever back in Seattle. I will. No, I won't. And I'm definitely not going to read the group chat. That's too long. <laughs> uh, what we got on the dating app? Nothing. Wow. It's people that we could swipe for, though. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, she's cute. And I like her name. Period. Swipe. Uh-oh. A cosplayer. Swipe. No. Mm, maybe. No. 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 Maybe. That's as good a sign as any. Time to say goodbye to this app. I guess we're done with the app now. I don't know why, but <laughs> we're done with the app, I guess. We ain't got no matches with anybody today, so. Let's uh read another ad. Let's see. Um, Grimey's Auto Repair. Happy New Year from Grimley's. Or Grimley's, I think it's Grimley's. <laughs> and thank you to C, I said C, K R C T for your continued partnership. We served the Haven Springs for 13 years in case anyone's serious about the exact number. We're open during all major winter holidays, so get yourself the gift of safe, dependable driving. Sure. Hey, we've got a returning sponsor today Grimley's Auto Repair, serving Haven Springs. Since 2005, before some of my listeners were even born. And if you're one of them, remember, only cool kids stay up late and listen to local radio. Grimley's is opened on every major winter holiday. So if you... crashed your car head on into Comet, Cupid, Donner, or Vixen, they're here for you. Again, that's Grimley's Auto Repair your best and greasiest neighbors. Period, she be selling it. Me, no. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and say the last one and then gonna do our other task. All right, so I got a lot of girls to be, they have a bit of old stuff on holiday stuff, so anything to do to get body sense to the world be a huge help. Holiday foods on sale, full size packages, small hands, fresh cranberry sauce, go out on holiday to 
decoration is going to hit her next year. Last election of New Year's resolution for my feeds. Are you sorry to see the winter season go? Not sure how you're going to survive the long, holidayless stretch until Valentine's Day? Not to worry. Spamps Grocery has you covered. Keep the winter cheer alive with... Sales on your favorite holiday foods. Treat yourself to a discounted novelty-sized candy cane, but this time without the excuse. And as we ready those New Year's resolutions, Spamps is your one-stop shop for... Healthy foods to eat during the two weeks you actually use your gym membership. Happy New Year from Spamps. All right, we done. You just gotta wait for somebody to call. What I got What could fit under the front door? Maybe concert tickets? Somebody would call as soon as I leave out the door. Oh. Hello. Happy New Year. You're on with Steph. Oh, wow. Hi. I have a major problem I'd love your help with. My college minor was in major problems. Let's hear it. Okay. It's about a Christmas present I got this year from my grandma. Grandma gifts rule. They pull out all the stops. Yeah, that's kind of why I'm calling. My grandma bought me a $4,000 video camera with the lighting rig. Whoa. I know. I don't want her paying for that. She's a retired grocer. But it's not just about the expense. For a while, I wanted to be a movie director, and grandma super latched onto it. DVDs, filmmaking books, online courses. Now this. I'm guessing you're not as into filmmaking anymore? Honestly, the more I've learned about the industry, the more I question if it's really something for me. So what do I do? Return the camera and just roll over her feelings with the truck? I will consult the Cosmos. Oh, chill. I was about to say, Grandmas are really sweet. She really thought you wanted to be in filmmaking. She got you that camera. I feel like you should still give it a shot. And if you don't, then you can always return it, right? Grandmas are the best. <sighs> 12 doesn't tell me much. What does one do with an overexpensive gift? I say keep it. It's from your grandma. You might change your mind and you wish that you kept the camera. Cosmos consulted. I'm braced for it. You keep the camera even though it hurts your insides thinking about how much grandma paid. Uh... And since the gear's taking up half your bedroom anyway, you start putting it to good use. Right. Whenever there's a school project, you work the assignment into a killer student film. A nail-biting expose on Millard Fillmore, an epic fantasy about covalent bonds, <laughs> Actually, I would totally do that. Your teachers love it, and so do your peers. One friend even makes you an Oscar out of paper mache. Soon, you forget all about the pressure you put on yourself to be a filmmaker, and you just have fun making stuff. And you start to think, maybe Grandma knew exactly what she was doing when she bought it for you. Duh, of course. Right. I've just got to use it. Thanks for helping me see that. It's what I do. You need to thank me because all Steph was saying is what I was feeling. <laughs> you don't know for sure if you like something or not until you do it. You know what I'm saying? I need to check my phone. 
So I gotta answer two calls. That call didn't count. <laughs> Tally Foosball. It was something else. Oh, Tally the Foosball score. We gotta listen to our final song. Oh, I can't wait to hear it. Hopefully it sounds really good. What Violet? Um, I guess they're back talking again. So, um, hey, holy shit. Hey, how are you? Good. You know, it's tourist season. So, Telluride is crawling with ski bros. Crawling with ski bros. How are you? Yeah, I'm not bad, actually. Got invited to GMA LARP. Haha, <laughs> of course you did. I've been thinking a lot about how things ended. Kind of sucked, huh? I mean, it could have been way worse. Yeah, I guess so. I just started seeing someone new. It's going really well, and I like her so much. But, like, I don't know. You and I had so much fun. I miss you. I miss you, too. Want to be bros? What kind of dyke would I be if my friend group was a primarily composed of exes? Oh, my God. A valid point. Congrats, by the way. You deserve to be happy. How that's all going for you? What, dating? Think I'm taking myself off the market, honestly, at least for now. That might end up being really good for you. I'll definitely get more done if I'm not staring at this app all damn day. That's for sure. Hey, I'm glad we're bros now. Me too. It is New Year's, my dude. Time to share your resolution. Why is this the type of conversation I've had? Do something important. Get my cat to love me. Figure out what comes after Haven Springs. Um... Done with the small town DJ life already? Nah, not yet, but someday. I want to have something to look forward to until then. That sounds really nice. Anyway, how about you? Oh, dude, I have so many. First of all, got to get out of telly. Not sure how far out of telly, but I'm ready for a taste of that city life. Next, I want to do a gallery show, let people see my video collages, and maybe be a little less intense about my crushes. You could do it. All the faith in the world in you, kid. I try not to let you down. Oh, hey, there's a house show in Boulder on the 12th. Cannibal service, slash pass of something. <laughs> Wanna come? Do I get to meet your new chick? Duh. Then hell yeah, I'm in. Hell yeah, you are. Okay. Done with that. Why we haven't seen the cat yet? Valkyrie better be grateful. This cost me three whole dollars. Not three whole dollars. Valkyrie only uses this when I'm not looking. Which doesn't hurt my feelings whatsoever. Where's the foosball thing? It's normally right here. Who moved it? <laughs> We're gunning for Charlie Brown with this level of decor. That you are, Chip. Maybe it's in the back. I don't want to check what's at the door yet, but I see the envelope. <laughs> Where our final song get to? I guess all that stuff is in the back. Good music that's still gonna give me a copyright claim, so I just gave up, y'all. Just, just take my money. Ooh, I really like this back room. We don't have to add to Ethan's drawing this time. Lame. <gasps> Who drew on it? The result of wine night with Charlotte, if memory serves. Not them drawing on it. Got memory. Da -da -da. Oh, here you go. I'll totally walk right past it. Wow. Gotta add the latest game. Definitely a worthy match to close out the year. Steph is so cute. I'm not going to replay it again because I might lose. But I guess since this could be the last part, let's go ahead and replay the game. Why is Steph so cute? Look, your fundamentals are solid. But your trash talk needs some serious improvement. As of this moment, you are enrolled in Professor Gabe Chen's Trash Talk University. 
Damn, man. Sounds prestigious. Okay, professor. Teach me. Lesson one. You gotta get in your opponent's head. Be ruthless. Use their insecurities against them. Hmm? Oh, sorry. I was just thinking about that pic Shar showed me of your scene phase. Oh, fuck you. Was it hard to play foosball with your hot topic bangs obscuring your line of sight? It was the mid-2000s, okay? Okay, let's move on to lesson two. You gotta flex your bragging muscles. Really just blast a guitar solo right in their stupid face, you know? Oh, you know a lot about blasting guitar solos, do you, Gabe? I know my way around a guitar. <laughs> sure you do, bud. Hey, how many instruments do you play? You wanna jam after this? Show me your skills. Yeah, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Lesson three. When all else fails, schoolyard insults are your best friends. Boom! I did Thanks it, yeah. for the lesson, Professor. How'd I do? I've taught you all I can. The student has become the master. Should all the acquaintance be forgot? Close. <laughs> All right, let's listen to our song. But actually, she did this whole area up here. This is nice. It was so junky back here. Dean profile dress. Dang it, Ryan. I tried to help you, bro. Are oh, you trying to get Ryan on there? Mm. Chad. Oh, let me look at this photo. Damn, Mikey. When did you turn into such a grown up? Steph, thought you might like a reminder of how far we've come. Um, Y'all really did graphical wise. <laughs> I wanna see that thank you note. Damn, no, Mikey. The thank you note. When did you turn into such a grown up? Sorry, Riley, but that horse had to go. Thank you so much for the delightful vintage carousel horse. I think it's just the loveliest thing. Riley says it's creepy and keeps taking it out of the shop, but we'll see which of us have the last laugh. Okay. This is cool. Misty looks a little creepy, but once you get to know her, she's actually armless. I mean, that's what she wears, what, what you call it. Got a hoodie in there, employee holds. Hayride. They had hayrides? Cool. Alright. Whoops. Haven't served Valkyrie her New Year's Eve treat yet. I guess we're not gonna do it either. Okay. Alright. His name is Quixby. Once renowned for his wisdom and knowledge, he was driven from the Sky Council after the Great Cloud Schism and has sworn revenge. Quixby is harvesting the collective knowledge of New Eden so he can complete his weather machine and turn the skies black for a thousand years. He might be nocturnal, but now it's my turnal. That was kind of like cringy, but it was cool. <laughs> Damn, Mikey. Looking down from 100 stories above the city, you see thousands, if not millions, of thin blue strands stretching from just above your head to the city below. You know, I'm beginning to think that mayor wasn't being entirely truthful. This is the soul web. An entire city strung together in eternal captivity. And you stand right at the center of it. Cool. The Executioner Priest begins chanting. Blood to oil, breath to steam. Blood to oil, breath to steam. 
Elamon readies the bow, but doesn't fire just yet. We submit this offering to you, Almighty Owl Lord Quixby. Fire! Critical hit. The bolt pierces the priest's neck and impales him against the altar. Yeah! Wait, Owl Lord? That last session was insane. But Elamon got fucked up. I'm worried he won't survive his final battle against the evil Al genius Quixby. I want to show Mikey how much this campaign has meant to me by giving him the epic finale he deserves. Should I let Elamon go down in a blaze of glory? Or should I nerf the baddie and give him more of a fighting chance? Better look at my notebook and decide how I want to set up this final battle. Hmm. I'm a, I'm a give Elamon a chance. I can level the playing field a bit. There. Anything else to look at? Where our song thing at? I forgot where it was. Oh, it's right here. <sighs> I'm ready to hear our song. I did a bunch of work on my song. I think it's finally finished. It's gonna be a hit. Come on, Steph. Not then this, but something unknown. As my spring colors were blackening, couldn't you see that I had to go? It's a long way to travel. It cuts through the mountains. Arcadia abdicates its hold over me. So the first step to catch the path should be in company. Me, I'm with you. Yeah, you, you're with me. You said that you knew this would happen. Well, not now this, but some sepia pain. I'm not just running, I'm reacting. That's why you can't see that I must remain. It's a long way from home, and I'm left in the mountains. Stephanie amputates everything good. And the first thought I catch when I wake is what's left of me. Do I self suffice in unlikelihood? Is that it? That was good. See, I told you I was gonna be a bop. I'm through being over it. You should know I hurt too. I'm overrunning over what I could have said. I'm overrunning some I think I'd rather be running too It's a long way to home and it cuts through the mountains Color desaturates, sunlight subdues but the first snow to catch the light falls on a precipice A point of perspective to plan the next move Yo! Play this on the radio! Is it over this time or it's still somewhere? Let's see The beat and everything is nice All right. 
I'm gonna leave it. It might be more, but that song right there. My little idea has grown up into a whole ass song. Maybe I should share it with someone. Send it to Mikey, keep it for myself, play it on the radio. Play it on the freaking radio. Now, that's what I've been looking for. Hey, KRCT listeners, got a special treat for you. Here's a world premiere by a talented up and comer who might just be finally getting her shit together. Let me know what you think. Yeah, it's so cute. Y'all listen to that. Okay. I was afraid this would happen. Will not then this All right. Never resented snow until it became my job to clear it. So he's like killing his own people? What the hell? All right, let's see what's in the envelope. Hmm, suspicious. A fucking scavenger hunt on New Year's Eve. My friends are dorks. That they are. Stuff. Wait, what? Your friends put together a surprise scavenger hunt and this is the first clue? You must have seriously great friends. Stuff is witty, bold, and fun, but she's also a great listener. P.S. We're starting off easy. Don't look far. So what are we looking for exactly? <laughs> Follow the clues, complete radio show task. Uh, la, 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 la. Like what is the clue? Like, I just saw, uh, let me read that again. A fucking scavenger hunt on New Year's Eve. My friends are dorks. I guess it's a listener. So it's like, maybe this listening thing. There you go getting pretty mushy even for Gabe one year ago this brought us together we were friends and a heart beat what's the beat for uh, a heart beat yeah I know I'd be a little slow with things so heart beat Heartbeat. Okay, drum. Right, that's what I was looking for. Typical Ryan, making triple sure I get it. Ever since you started illuminating the future, your show's been a bright spot in people's lives. You really made Haven shine again. Illuminating bright and shine. Uh oh. Phone call. I would say it's that, but I don't think it is. It's something that's illuminating. Messing up my scavenger hunt. <laughs> Did you like my song? Hey, hey, you're on with Steph. Hello, Stephanie. Is this Ducky? Indeed it is. I'm calling with an inquiry about the future. <laughs> I'm seriously flattered. I'm inquiring about my gentleman's mortality wager. Your what? Sorry, your what? Many years ago, my friends and I buried a chest of some value deep in the Nevada desert. 
We agreed that the last of us to remain alive would win the right to dig up that chest and claim its contents. It's a common arrangement, although it's <laughs> admittedly fallen out of favor and legality. You may know it as a tontine. How old are these friends of yours? Considerably older than me. And how old is that? <laughs> you rascal, Stephanie. I'll consult the fates and be right back. So glad this is up to the D20 and not me. Right. Because, <laughs> like, huh? Seventeen. Um, go Ducky. So, Ducky's taunting. Uh, taunting. Ducky, I'm back. Prognosticate away. It is the best of news, and it is the worst of news. You win your taunting this year. The best and worst of news indeed. It's a sad day when your last friend dies. But then you think about what you could do with the loot. Went through getaway. You use it to spend some time actually enjoying these old mountains you call home. I've always wanted to try my hand at snowboarding. Okay, you go snowboarding. You ride the lift up to the top on your first run, and by accident, you end up on a double black diamond. It's an experience that would be terrifying if you weren't such an inexplicably good snowboarder. On that day, a new ducky is born. Maybe you realize that death packs are really all about celebrating life. The more you live it up, the more you honor their memories. Thank you, Stephanie. This has been most amusing. You got it. Happy New Year, Ducky. All right, back to my scavenger hunt. So we're looking for something that's lit up. It's not the antlers. I said bright. Gotta keep looking. Where's that next clue? It has to be in the back room. Bright, illuminating. Laptop? Bright, illuminate, shine. Okay, Ryan's talking about some kind of light. Oh, let me put the treat out for the kid. That's why I want something that's bright. Only the best smoked salmon for my little terror. And we still haven't seen the cat this whole time. I could be tripping. Right, illuminating. Hmm. Y'all probably like, girl, over there. But y'all know I can't see. There you go. Huh, <laughs> sure. You took a giant leap of faith and moved to a strange town where we forged a badass creative life for yourself where you forge a bad as creative life for yourself. Find the next clue in the record bin that describes what you are. Interesting. What would describe us? <laughs> uh,
inspirational. I. <laughs> what? Thanks for still on comments. Ethan. That's what I call awesome. Switchboard. <laughs> we. Uh. Where is the switchboard? Okay, that clue's in here somewhere. That it is. There you go. See, Valkyrie? We're best friends. It says so right here. She's your real best friend. No point trying to pretend. I tried to compete. I admit defeat. It's a match made in hell. What can I say? Oh well. See Valkyrie, or best friends. I guess we got something to do with the cat. <laughs> now, was that there all along, or I never just noticed it? <laughs> okay. Gotta keep looking. Where's that next clue? Right here. You solved the scavenger hunt. Your prize is on a shelf in the bed. Holy shit, this is rad. Whosoever sits here does so by the benef is it beneficence <laughs> of Steph Gingrich. Black lantern regular and staple of the Haven community and it must yield their place to her upon request. You wonderful bunch of absolute geeks. Stuff. The time has come for me to formally release you from your foosball oath. If or when you're ready to leave Haven, I won't throw a fit, I promise. On the other hand, though, maybe you've seen the little plaque screwed onto some of the bar stools at the Fano Tavern and such. Those seats are reserved for members of the community who, no matter how far they stray or how long they stay gone, will always have a spot at the bar when they return. Well, you're one of them now. You've earned it. Thanks for a great year. We love you, man. Gabe, Ryan, and Charlotte. P.S. Swing back tomorrow and claim your stool. That's cute. All of right. Them. Think it's about time to crack open that champagne. These dorks. I still love y'all though with Alex, but Gabe died anyway. But you know. All right. Where's the champagne? It. There you go. Nice of Jed to swing by with this. I'll pop it open around midnight. When I'm done with everything else. No, you said we're gonna open it now. We're done. Champagne me. Okay, Jed. What have you hooked me up with? It's Close enough. There, right? <laughs> Close enough. Happy New Year, Valkyrie! Wherever you are. They did a good thing for her. Is it back springtime? Or whatever time of the year it is. Is this when Alex show up?
Shout out to anyone who sung along with that bridge. You're awesome. New releases in just a minute, but first, let's hear from you. Hey there, you're live on KRCT. How's it going? Hey, Steph, I heard you don't do fortunes anymore. Could you, could you make an exception? Sorry, those days are over. But why? Did something happen? Not really. Just started thinking life's more interesting if you don't try to predict everything first. <sighs> it's such a tiny question. All I want to know is which friend should I... The taller one. Thanks for calling. <laughs> question from Rochelle in Colorado Springs. How's Valkyrie doing? Val's doing great. She's completely moved in. She loves to sleep on my lap. She's scratching all the customers. I'm in heaven. All right. Here's a new release from The Wednesday. Let me know what you think. Steph, like, I'm ready to go. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to end it or not, and maybe it's a little bit longer than I thought, <laughs> but I think it's coming to an end, though. Alex. How cute! And that's how it all begins. I would suggest playing this before you play True Colors because it's a prequel. But then she meet Alex and everything changes. Oh, it's done, y'all. That's wraps. That's the end of Life is Strange Wavelengths. Let me know how you felt about it in the comment section below. You kind of get a little bit of a backstory on stuff and a little bit of after the storm and you learn that Steph and Mikey survived it. I don't know if anybody else survived it, but at least you know that they was there. They witnessed the storm. They going through their trauma of seeing their families die right in front of their eyes. But for some reason, they were special enough to survive it and move on, I guess. But you can see the different things that stuff been going through, like the storm and dating and trying to find her place of where she belongs. And then she meet Alex. If you haven't seen me play Life is Strange True Colors, go back and watch that before you watch this and you can see the choices that I made. But spoiler alert, if you haven't, I had Alex and stuff to deep and they love Haven. So there you go. <laughs> so let's see. I'm pretty sure they got some choices at the end. Let's see. Oh, they don't. They don't always show no predictions like, hey, you picked this and saying, okay, well. We're done, y'all. <laughs> We're done with the game. I thoroughly enjoyed True Colors and Wavelengths as a whole. I really love Stuff to Death. She's one of my favorite characters. And this proved why you should love her even more. And she's so beautiful. And she's nerdy. And she's just a cool, a cool girl, a cool girl. So I'm glad I made the choices that I did in True Colors and didn't change those at all. It, it makes more sense now that it's all bonded together. But yeah, um, that's the end of Life is Strange True Colors. And I hope they come out with another Life is Strange game very, very soon. I will be back to play that one. But uh, I feel like we deserve like a full on story of After the Storm, maybe an update of Max and Chloe, you know, something like that. But you know, they might do it, they might not, I don't know. But anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Please watch part one, two, and three before you watch this. And that's all I'm gonna say, I'm gonna get out of here. But anyways, go ahead and like up this video if you haven't already and subscribe to my channel if you're new. Follow all those links down below and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.